Yes, hello everybody. I'm George for Events Thailand. I'm here with the ambassador of Switzerland. Hello, welcome. Hello. How are you? Fine, it's great to be in Phuket. Thank you for coming. So, can you please explain us a little bit more for how is concerning this event today, the, for the, this uh, amazing boat coming from, from Switzerland, and explain us uh, the support for the Swiss Embassy? Yes, it's uh, the first and the biggest uh, solar cell um, boat which goes around the world. And so they started a year ago in uh, Monaco and arrived today in Phuket. And they will have uh, six months ago to uh, go back to Monaco. And it's only with sa power of sun that they can do it. And it's amazing. So I came here to uh, support this uh, very uh, good initiative from a team of Switzerland. And we helped them that they could come here to the marinas and uh, to uh, make it public because I think it's very important to bring it uh, to the people that the idea of uh, saving the nature and the resources is very important for everybody in all over the world. Thank you. So that, that's amazing coming from uh, actually as we know Switzerland is a country don't have the sea mm -hmm. so the other question is why Swiss uh, have this foundation or let's say is the technology can help this to do this? Yes, I think we have a very good uh, education system which also uh, support initiative. So uh, in Switzerland the people or the children grew up to have uh, imagination, to have visions, uh, to ask uh, or to improve uh, also the environment. And we support this from the government. So innovation is um, very Swiss. And I think we are probably number one in the innovation, what we I saw once in a world uh, list. So, uh, for Switzerland, in, how is your goal in here in, in, in the embassy in, in Thailand? Can you explain us a little bit more? Well, as an ambassador, I'm responsible for the good relation between Thailand and Switzerland, which is an easy task because we have very good friendship relation uh, between both countries. Because Switzerland is still very proud of the fact that His Majesty the King lived 17 years in Switzerland, in Lausanne. And uh, so I have to uh, have many contacts as possible, uh, also in the economic field, in trade field. Uh, we are interested in having a good trade relation with Thailand. We have 150 Swiss companies already working here in Thailand. Then it's also important uh, as a tourist place. We have around 12,000 Swiss tourists per month coming to Thailand. So we are also uh, having to, to deal with uh, maybe problems that tourists can have. Uh, but also we are providing visas to Thai people. Uh, we are issuing passports at the embassy. Uh, then also a very important uh, field is the cultural uh, relation and we try to bring as much as possible Swiss artists to Thailand and we have this year the 80 years anniversary of diplomatic relationship. So we will have end of November in Siam Paragon a three uh, day event with many Swiss artists, also Thai artists that you can compare both traditions. Okay, great. So that's, that seems is the collaboration between Switzerland and uh, on Thailand since many years. Obviously, Our Majesty the King was living also many years ago. Thank you very much for this interview and uh, welcome back to book at any time. Thank you, my pleasure. I'm here in the Aupo Marina with the, the captain of the, the fantastic Planet Solar Tunador, with Erwan. Hello, Erwan. Hello. Thank you for coming to Phuket. Can you explain us a little bit more how is uh, working to bring uh, such an amazing boat here and how is you managing to, to for the crew or for, the, for sailing? As a captain, you, you can explain us all this uh, important adventure. So uh, we are... We are five persons on board only, uh, four of us are doing the navigation, so we, we navigate during the day and during the night. So we charge during the day the batteries and the batteries help us to navigate uh, during the night continue, continuously. So we left uh, Singapore just uh, one week ago and we arrived uh, 
here uh, in Phuket on, on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have about uh, five knots of uh, average speed. So what is important for us is to uh, estimate and prepare uh, the navigation depending on, on what will be the, the weather forecast. We navigate only, only with solar energy. So we produce electricity with the solar panels where you are right now. We produce electricity during the day as soon as the sun rises. And all this is uh, uh, rather automatic electronics uh, that is very silent and very smooth. We just uh, uh, produce electricity during the day, keep it in the battery, use it for the propulsion. And during the night, we, we, part, uh, we partially use uh, uh, this uh, electricity that we have uh, charged during the day to continue sailing during the night. And so we, we cover like this. Uh, uh, four of us are, are doing the watch every three hours. There is uh, Raphael, who is the expedition leader, uh, that you will uh, you, you have met also. Raphael uh, is uh, the, the initiator of the project and is the expedition leader. So he is the one who is overlooking at the, the whole project. You have uh, Jens, he's our, our uh, mate, our navigation uh, uh, um, seaman, and he's looking also after the, the maintenance on board. We have uh, uh, Christian, uh, the electronic engineer, who is looking at all the, the electronic, electronic and the production of uh, electricity and uh, myself, the captain, and I look at the navigation in general and also preparing uh, the, the route all the way back to, to Monaco. Okay, great. Uh, can you tell us how many solar panels you have here in, in the boat? Solar panels, we have 703. 703 solar panels, yes. They are not, not all exactly the same size. They are divided in into 11 different groups, so 11 different uh, groups of solar panels to, to produce uh, electricity. And we have also six batteries, six, six batteries that are located in the floaters, in the hull of the boat. So below the water level, on the side, below, so because it's quite heavy, it's about 11 tons in total. So three batteries in each side. Okay, great. Uh, after the, the next, uh, your next stop over after Phuket, where will be your next destination? So the next destination after Phuket is uh, Sri Lanka. We will do a few, uh, few stops, very short stops also in Sri Lanka. We will continue after that along the Indian coast to Mumbai. Uh, we will be in the Persian Gulf for Christmas, uh, doing uh, Abu Dhabi, Doha, Dubai. And then uh, in February, we will uh, uh, proceed uh, and navigate along the Arabian Sea to the Suez Canal and the Mediterranean Sea uh, next uh, spring to arrive in Monaco uh, the first week of May 2012. So that means you're going to reach your goal for the, the timing? Yes, yeah, we are, uh, we are right on time. Uh, we have uh, adjusted uh, once or twice a little bit the, the program to, in fact, uh, uh, do a little bit more stops than what was originally uh, uh, planned because in fact uh, as, uh, as here in Phuket we have realized that there is a lot a lot uh, of interest from the people from the politicians from everybody every time we stop so in fact it's quite nice to be able to, to share uh, our adventure with the people so let's let's do let's several stops and try to, to, to pass the message as much as possible. So this is uh, exactly so what I wonder Rafael gonna explain us the idea for is coming to obviously something for the future, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's it's an amazing project. Uh, it's an amazing idea he had. It, it took him a lot of time to be able to convince uh, people to take the risk to do it. But it's working. I mean, we've done uh, already 40,000 kilometers since Monaco last year. It's working. For me, uh, coming from from the merchant marine industry, having a uh, a boat with just solar energy, electrical boat, silent, with no vibration. It's, it's a completely new world and I think, I hope this kind of, of boat can be an example and we will have lots of new boats like this uh, in the future because it's, it's really fascinating, really nice, quiet, silent. It's perfect for navigating along the islands and along the beautiful coast like here. So yourself as a captain, obviously you recommend all this for the future and obviously will be something can change the world, right? Yeah, yeah of course. Uh, let's, be, uh, let's be reasonable. We cannot have container ship with uh, solar energy only. Uh, so we, but I'm hoping for this kind of, of, uh, of uh, solar boat to, to slowly, slowly uh, be examples for, uh, for example, uh, yachts, private yachts, or eco-vacations, uh, eco uh, 
uh, in, in perfect uh, places like this you can sail without uh, using any gasoline, no diesel, so you don't pollute. So uh, uh, lots of uh, places already where we have been, the Galapagos in the equator uh, that you know quite well, uh, in Australia also, in the Philippines they have, they have shown lots of interest about these kind of boats because you can do uh, tourism uh, with this kind of boat with absolutely no pollution which is very important in, in uh, paradise places like here where you want to protect the corals and you want to protect the coast. Thank you very much Erwan. That was Erwan, the captain of the Planet Solar Tunador. I'm here with Rafael, the chef of expedition of the fantastic Planet Solar Tunador. Hi Rafael, how are you? Fine and you? Thank you. Thank you for coming to Phuket. Can you explain us a little bit more how is, as a founder for this idea, can you explain us how is coming this fantastic idea? Uh, but for me it was uh, seven years ago when I can see that the climate is changing and I really want to do some things to try to protect this planet. And uh, my experience of solar energy, I can see that this technology is working today, not tomorrow. So we have everything, we have the technology, we have the energy and uh, we don't know. So I want to do some things to show to the planet, to the whole world, that uh, we have everything and it's a chance that we have to take it. Great, great, it's a fantastic idea and you can see now it's, uh, it's done. Can you explain us a little bit more to, to, to get a project like this, how you managed to get the sponsoring on the challenging to, the, to get the financial to also support this, this uh, fantastic adventure? So for me, the, of course, I know that it was the most difficult part of the project. It's to find the finance to be sure that I can build a boat and I can go around the world with, uh, with this boat, uh, with a professional team. So I decided to uh, find a uh, godfather, a very important person. Uh, not, I asked this person to not give me any money, but to support the idea with me. And then, with these people, very slowly, I started to build a very, very nice team. And then I was able to try to find a sponsor. And then you, f you first the first one, and it helps you to find the second one. And uh, you have to build like this the, the project. Uh, now we have 58 sponsors from uh, California to uh, almost to New Zealand. So this is, uh, I am very happy. And uh, I have to say that it's without the support of this partner, uh, we will have no chance to do this adventure. Mm -hmm. So that means uh, everywhere when you fly, when you navigate into another location, you can get also some, some new sponsors? Of course, this is also for us really important to have a national uh, partner, national uh, sponsor that can help us first with the stopover, uh, but also they will help because a partner is also someone who can help to spread the message. And this is really important. At the end, we are not doing business. We are not doing this project. We are a non-profit organization. Our goal is more we have, better we can be uh, with the visibility of the project everywhere on this planet. Mm -hmm. Great, fantastic. Now, can you explain us a little bit more for this fantastic navigating system you have? Is uh, something quite interesting we heard about it. Yeah, this is a completely new software. It is the main tools of Planet Solar. Uh, we start actually to, to work on this project very, very early. It was in 2005, so it took uh, more than five years to build this system. We have, and we are the first boat to have the prediction of the sun for the next 10 days. But also, this software can provide uh, the route, the best route to go. For example, now we will leave Phuket, and uh, we are asking the software, okay, what it is the best route? to go to Sri Lanka and with all the weather forecast information, the current, the wind, the sun and the wave, we have, we're supposed to have the, the better uh, and the fastest route to go there. Thank you very, very much Rafael for this interview and we wish you all the best to continue your trip to go back to Monaco. Thank you very much. Th thank you very much and I am very proud to be in, Mona, in Phuket with you now and uh, I hope that uh, the people who is following us will take our message and they, they will spread it as far as possible. Thank you very much, Rafael.